I'm doing a re-upload because I had some technical difficulties there. Um, Alex Kredetcha versus Vitaly Laletin. 25th of March. King of Table 3. <sighs> what a huge match. Uh, these guys are two of top arm wrestlers on the planet. Undoubtedly, the winner of this match is going to have a shot the number one spot in the world. I think that these guys represent the future of the super heavyweight division. Them and guys like them. Alex and Vitaly, they're both way taller than me. I think that they're like six, eight, six, nine kind of guys, like the big dudes. And uh, Vitaly is you know, made his weight well above 300. I think he's probably, I don't know, 320 or something. And and, and uh, of the two of them, uh, Kredetcha is, is even thicker. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was 400 at one point. I think he might be down around like mid or he's, he's probably about Levon's size. I don't know. He's a big, big dude. And I think that probably in five years, this is what a lot of the super heavyweight class is going to look like I have to lean towards Vitaly I have to just because he's been arm wrestling so long um, like there's pictures of Vitaly arm wrestling I think when he was when he was a kid and he drives a truck so right away he's, he's way cooler anybody who drives a truck these days has got all the all the good Jedi power of the entire planet flowing through them right now, right? Uh, but it's a huge match. And uh, Alex Kredetje is super hot at the moment. He's just been destroying everybody. Um, kind of a side note about the thing is I remember one of the things that really made me question uh, how the match is going to go is Ermi's Gasparini. I mean, Hermes. Hermes. Uh, he said that he thought that Alex was going to win. And he should have a pretty good insight because he's felt them both. One in kind of fun and training and the other very serious. So, 25th, king of the table. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, pretty pretty big deal. Uh, the other one I wanted to go over once again on a re-upload is Khalid Jashel versus Larry Wheels. And I know a lot of people see it differently, but I'm a huge fan of Khalid. Uh, make no mistake, guys. This guy, if, well, maybe he gets booted out of fighting now. Our our uh, our lucky treat. Uh, maybe he gets he gets booted out, or he takes a little break. But uh, if you ever saw a guy with natural talent, it's Khalid Shell. Uh, probably in the top three hands I've ever shook in my entire life. Up there with uh, right up there with Shaq. So. So if anybody can close the gap really quickly in the sport, it's Khaled. And Larry, I mean, the stuff that Larry's done in the strength realm, super awesome. And, uh, I mean, Larry's been biting off more than he can chew since uh, he got into the sport like a real champ, you know, always swinging for the rafters. Um, and he's been at it two years now. And every time you see him, he's better and better. Day one, day one of those guys gripping up, I would have said Khaled's the heavy favorite. But it looks like Khaled is just kind of getting in the game. Really, maybe, we'll see. I hope. Uh, and Larry's got a two-year head start on him. So, great match. King of the table. <laughs> I wish I was there. Uh, anyways, it's all on our bet. Pick your pick your favorite. Have a good day, guys.